Shalom. We give our praises on our glory to Yahweh, Shalom, Shabbat, Shalom, Kakadash, and double lens to the elders and apostles of great no story, told this truth, and please bless us, I teach us to the hope of it. And, um, yeah, man. As you can see, <laughs> there's a Cesare Bourget, plushy, and you, you, you already see where this is going. <clears throat> You already see where this is going, but um, yeah, man, this is to the mostly to the northern kingdom, to be honest, because they're the ones who are heavy on Cesare Borgia, basically. Um, <coughs> yeah, this this isn't the Lord, and if you actually read or read the Bible, that you love um. <coughs> having in your house, you actually know that. And you know what, let's, let's, let's get it, man, let's get it. Uh, let me try this, miss. Of the seven candle. Revelation 1 and 12. And it says, And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the patch of a golden girdle. And going to that golden girdle, really, it's just um, it's like a belt that goes around your stomach to basically um protect your stomach area. <clears throat> and it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. And when he's talking about his head and his hairs, he's talking about the head on top of his head and the hair on his face. <clears throat> and carrying on. And he says, as white as snow, his eyes were a flame of fire. And that's another thing um, where it says, um, when it goes into the, the hairs while that wouldn't, his um hair had been um white as snow. And a lot of people just think, oh, it's talking about the colour. But it goes into the texture and colour. But what would be the need to make mention that his hair's white twice? It it doesn't. There's a reason why it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. The reason why he made mention of the wool is because that's the way his texture, the texture of his hair was. And then it goes in to say, white as snow. So he had white woolly hair. Simple as that. <clears throat> but carrying on, and his feet like onto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And the reason why John made mention of his feet is because... He was bowing down, man. <clears throat> the, the same way the, um, John bowed down to the angel that came before him. Where is it again? Um, yeah, Revelation 19 and 10. And he says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and I am thy brethren. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the power for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And this is what John did with the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. And bowed at his feet. It showed me in basically reverence, respect. Which, I love these camps don't do that. <clears throat> But yeah, going into that word burned as well. 
burned. I'm burned out. Burned. <clears throat> Here we go. So like it says, if you want to use the word burn in the past tense, you should always use a burned, never burnt. <clears throat> so there you go, man. So, so when something's already burnt, you would use the word burned. So it was already, it was already dark. <laughs> so, so the law evidently was a dark skinned male. Evidently because it springs out of the tribe of Judah. <clears throat> and also let's get um let's get the appearance of the father. Actually no, let's go here first. So that's the father. There we go, John 14 and 9. Actually, now let me start at 8. It says, Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices for us. And then, verse 9. How shall I say unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me, hath seen the Father, and how is thou then show us the Father? Yeah, because the Heavenly Father and the Son look the same hence why it makes sense of this Daniel 7 and 9 this is our beheld to the thrones were cast down and the ancients of days did sit being the heavenly father his garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool so his hair was as the pure wool like white woolly hair this is like it makes mention with the sun but you see, when John was writing it, he made sure to go into detail. So, hence why he said he made mention of <clears throat> it was white like wool, as white as snow. <clears throat> and this is basically the short way of saying what John was saying when he was describing the appearance of the Lord. So, like it says, and his hair of his head was like the pure wool, just like his son's. His form was like the fiery flame and his wheels are the burning fire. So now <clears throat> we got the appearance of the Lord out of the way. Now we can go ahead with um, Cesare Borgia. Cesare And this is this is the very person um, who's depicted in all those pictures. <clears throat> or you could even say that that, that local plushie is a depiction of this man here. Love her. You see, it's, this, this is common knowledge. But to the Northern Kingdom, or should I say the majority, they don't want to accept it. It's, 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 it's common knowledge. <clears throat> well, literally. And even then, we, we can actually... um. I'm going to get this real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 14. And let me start at 15. It says, For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. And if you know about, says Ray Borgia's dad, he was the, I think it's the Pope.
Yeah, this 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 is the dude. <clears throat> and you see, look, there you go, man. His son says a very boy, yeah. <clears throat> and literally, what the Pope Alexander did was, he basically had his son being idol worship, man. That's exactly what he did. And even then, this was done in the Greek Empire as well. Like, literally with um, Crystal Serapis. It's, it's literally the same thing, man, the same idol. Crystal Serapis. But yeah, like it says, for a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he have made an image of his child soon taken away, now honoured him as a god, which was then a dead man, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. And his, says Rebbe dad, being a pope. <clears throat> what, what, do you think, what do you think he did? He had all that influence and power. Like, literally, he was, he, was t- he was telling those who were underneath him to, to, to worship his son, man. And that's what happened, man. <clears throat> and like it says, thus in process, a time and ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. Yeah. Like, literally, <clears throat> when Esau, Edom went around conquering the earth 150 years, he came with that image, man. It came with Cesare Borgia. And literally, that's what the, the, the people are worshiping, worshiping today, man. A, a, a graven image, an idol, which has no power. <clears throat> and even then, let's um, get this one. Actually, let me get this one. Deuteronomy 32 and 36. Actually, no, let me start at 35. And yeah, man, you need to come up and start, start worshipping those idols, man. Those graven images. Like even my nan, my, gra- my grandma, she had Cesare Bourget up in her house for what I'm, I'm talking about longer than I've been alive. Like I'm, I'm 26 right now. And she she's had it up there for more more than fifty years, more than fifty years. <coughs> and um, yeah, man, literally when I showed her the scriptures, I showed, I showed her the scriptures, man, and the appearance of the Lord, and she immediately took down that picture, man, that dirty graven image, and and I, I was praising the Lord, man, and like literally. She, she, I don't know what she did with it. All the noise, immediately she took that down. Man. Immediately. And even then, with, with the long hair, why, why would the Lord... <laughs> why would the Lord break his, his, his own commandments? Oh, let, let's get this. First Corinthians 11 and 14, he says, Doeth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? So why would the Lord have long, long ass hair? Here it is, the Lord talking about, um, <clears throat> keep the commandments of, of my father. And, and he's out here just rocking long hair, like to say some rock star. Absolutely insane. <clears throat> but then again, like I may mention, those images that people be worshiping and be, be portraying as the as the Lord or the Son of God, it says a very bourgeois. <clears throat> but yeah, like I may mention, start worshiping that false idol, man. And it says to to me belong in vengeance, and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord Yahweh shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he sees that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, 
Where are their gods, the rock in whom they trusted? Because <clears throat> yeah, the Israelites are known for worshipping idols. That's one of the main reasons why the Israelites were sold all over the earth for the Atlantic slave trade. And it says, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. And yeah, another thing, um, Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Like literally worshipping the dead. Putting out plates of food, like they say, your, 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 your grandfather, your dad or your son gong, come to the table and eat. <laughs> look at this look, look at the time 444 man and even then <clears throat> doesn't, doesn't the scripture say that angels don't need to eat because like it says here man Matthew 22 and 30, like it says, for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but as the angels of God in heaven, which they don't need to have sexual intercourse nor eat. Hence why Raphael or Rapaya Allah did this when he was, um, I think when he was, when he was with Tobit. Oh, one of the seven. Here we go. Toby twelve, and yeah, Toby twelve and fifteen. It says, "I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayer of the saints, and which go in and out before the glory of the holy one." <laughs> then they were both troubled and fell upon their faces, for they feared, and that's another reason why. John went on his feet towards Yahweh Shai and also went on his feet when he saw the angel of the Lord. <clears throat> and it says, But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise Yahweh therefore, for not of any favour of mine, but by the will of our power I came. Wherefore praise him forever. All these all these days I did appear unto you. But I did neither eat nor drink, but ye did see a vision. So yeah, the angels don't need to eat or drink. Or should I say, yeah, the angels don't need to eat or drink. So I'm um, dealing with that thing called the mile. Crazy stuff. <laughs> your, your dead relative ain't, co ain't coming to, to eat at the table. You, you're literally just wasting food at that point. <clears throat> Cause like the scriptures say there's the angels of God in heaven. There, there's no need to eat. There's no need to... For sex, <clears throat> so them coming back to, to to eat some food now, nah, man. <coughs> Let me head on back over to doing one of me thirty two and thirty eight. So like it says, it says, which did eat the fat of the sacrifices and drank the wine of the drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. And it says, I mean, verse 39 is basically of the Lord making mockery of what the idol worshippers of um, the Israelites were basically doing. Because they're out here thinking these graven images and these idols is, is going to protect them when it's the Lord, Yahweh, controlling all these things. And only the <clears throat> Most High and his son can protect you. But here you are going, going to these graven images and these stone idols that have no breath or life in them, that can't do anything, that they can't even protect themselves. <laughs> so like it says, see now that I, even I am he, and there's no God with me, meaning there's no power or angel on the most highest level, meaning his, he's at the top. <clears throat> you talk about what's it called um oh, what's it called again <clears throat> I've got what it's called man 
going going into um with the predator thing. And it's like, yeah, top of the food chain, yeah, that's it. Let's see how is at the top of the food chain. <clears throat> and there's no angel that's been made that can come close. <laughs> Hence why the most high has the title the most high. <laughs> Because it's his above all. And it says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver at my hand. <clears throat> but I lift up my hands to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and wet me to sharpen. And my hand take hold on judgment. I will render vengeance to my enemies. And will reward them that hate me. And yeah, man. You're out here praying to these other gods and idols. Me, my... The most has there, like, I'm the one doing all this. I create the good and evil. And you're out here worshipping stones made by man's hands. And even here, man. Isaiah 45 is 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Hoshai, and do all these things. So why not turn to the one? That actually has all this power instead of worshiping idols like Cesare Borgia or Crystal Seraphis. <clears throat> That's another thing. Um, let me let me close on this one. Like it says, Hebrews twelve and nine. It says, "Furthermore, we would have we would have." Okay, let me read that again. Just for a moment, we had. Oh my god, I'm getting tongue tied. Let me read it again. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subject, or shall I say in subjection, unto the Father's spirits and live? So, yeah, man. Y'all yeah, here being subject unto men. And to graven images and idols of stone and metal. But you're not being subject unto the Father's spirits. And then you wonder why you're dying. That, <laughs> that the scripture's saying, man. First Corinthians 15 and 56, it says the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. So again, <clears throat> to your best of your ability, keeping the commandments, huh? So you're trying to worship the, the, the true power, man. Who is your power? But Hashem and Hawa Shai. And you see, even here, second address 15 and 26, for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him and therefore the Lord heed them unto death and destruction. So like I said, now you see why you be dying. <clears throat> and you see why the Lord sends the sword, which is Esau, or the wicked, upon you. Like it says here, man, Psalm 17 and 13, Arise, O Yahweh, which the mouth shall disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And the Lord, all the time he sends... The Caucasian man, or the Idemi, or the, or the <clears throat> Edomite man, to come and deal with you, man. Why? Because you don't want to listen. I know there's prophets over there in um, Mexico, and in Puerto Rico, and in Ecuador, and Salvador, and <clears throat> in Cuba, and all these, um, or, or you could even say South America. But there's prophets, man. And they'll be telling you where to, to start worshipping. Those idols, and you don't want to listen. Instead of reading, you just want you just want to do anything you want to do, or or because a boy that said so. <clears throat> Crazy man. Crazy. But yeah, man. Oh, this was the fire. I want to give all praises. I'm glory to Hashem, 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 H